Hello everybody, the Nameless Narcissist here once again, a simple man diagnosed with MPD, giving the facts of narcissistic personality disorder and things that go on in my head. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, but keep in mind, I am no clinician, I can only speak to my own experiences, and the research I read, I'm smart, okay? Anyways, um, so, narcissists, we always take everything personally, don't we? It's like you can criticize a minor piece about our work and it's like you just told us that our mom was a whore or something. That's vulgar. I apologize, but it is what it is. Um, and like I can see those can be confusing for some people. And honestly, for me, it was kind of confusing how a lot of people didn't see how this was like distressing to me, right? So narcissists are basically in a constant mode of trying to figure out who we are. And the only way that we can figure out who we are is by getting the um, affirmation of other people. Well, we can, well, okay. So when you insult us, it feels true. However, we're, and that's why we react so poorly to it, but we're looking to be like somebody who's good, right? Somebody who we think is admirable, somebody that we think is, um, I don't know, virtuous sometimes. Uh, above others. I think above others is like the most important aspect of that. Um, so we're always, and a lot of times, just the thing we're doing in the moment can be who we are, right? Like right now, I am the nameless narcissist. I am making YouTube content. I am um, educating people on pathological narcissism. Somebody insults my work. Well, my work is who I am right now. Uh, it's like, oh, well, you're wrong about this, which I'm never wrong. Wait, okay, <laughs> let me rephrase that. I'm I'm very frequently uh, I'm very frequently accurate. I would say my I I, I assume I'm wrong sometimes. But you're saying that my work is bad. You're telling me that I'm bad because I am my work right now. Does that make sense? Like for us, like and because of our like black and white thinking and like lack of object uh, constancy and or full object relations and stuff like that, like. I can't conceive of you insulting one part of me. And like, in fairness, I'm perceiving it as an insult when it could just be a criticism. There's a distinction there. But I cannot, um, I cannot conceive of you criticizing one part of me without it just being who I am as a person. What I'm doing is who I am, right? So you criticize what I'm doing, you're criticizing me. And then I take that as an attack. I think they're trying to shame me. It's like, this is what's gonna make you change your behaviors. You're fucking terrible. So you're gonna change because I'm shaming you about this. It's exactly the same as saying that I'm just a bad person, that I'm a shitty person. Now it's also important to remember that we lack our constancy, right? We can't view ourselves as like, as like a whole big picture of a bunch of experiences and traits and stuff like that. We basically are what we are in the moment. That's why I get so confused sometimes when, like for example, once um, I had an ex-friend and if they were a mutual friend, I was talking to them about this and I was like, well, if they forgive me, like, cause they cut me out uh, over a wrong that I did. I'm like, well, if they forgive me, why aren't they in my life? And they're like, well, the damage has already been done. Like they, like, it's hard for them to view you in like with trust and stuff, even though they forgive you. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. To me, that makes no sense because if in this moment you forgive me, that means that I am good in your mind. And I forget that, you know, you can be, you know, have a long history of certain traits and qualities and that can affect how you perceive me in that moment. Right? And the same applies for me. For me, I cannot view myself as a long history of traits and characteristics. I am who I am in the moment. So when you insult that thing, you're insulting me. Um, among other things. Like, and it's, and like also, and like something I want to emphasize is the fact that like how it does, it, like, cause like people will like talk about this and it's almost like they're like saying that I'm a bad person for experiencing it like that. And I want to point out that like, yeah, my reactions can be over the top. And that's something I've worked on a lot and something that I think a lot of narcissists need to work on. And that can be hurtful, right? But like, it's genuine pain when somebody's, because when you say anything about me, it feels like every other part of myself that I hate is just spilling out. It's not that like, like I can't, like, 
I'm not every time that something bad about me or flawed about me is pointed out, I am everything bad about me that I've ever ex that I've ever thought about. And it's ins it's terrible. And I and like because and like sometimes it feels like you are trying to make that happen on purpose. And so I'll lash out. Or maybe, or maybe if I did something wrong, I might minimize, right? Or say like, oh, it wasn't a big deal. Oh, why are you making, like, stuff like that. And that might look like gaslighting, right? But it's not like I'm trying to intentionally hurt anybody. It's that I am trying desperately to defend myself against, like, this intolerable feeling of just, like, I can't, like, I, I just hate it. And it sucks because like rationally I know that like people cannot like certain aspects of me or think that those things can use improvement and still like, appreciate me as a person and love me. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like if they see any flaw, then now I am hated. Now I am nothing to them. Now they're, they're going to leave me a lot of times. Or they're trying to hurt me and stuff like that. So maybe I'll leave them first. Um... I know that's not true, but it feels true. Like I always use this metaphor of like, okay, yeah, this guy, imagine one day everybody in the world was like, yeah, the sky's red and you look up and you know, it's blue. And you're like, uh, no, it's blue. And they're like, and everybody around you is like, no, it's red, it's red. Eventually you learn, you're like, well, I gotta kind of go along with the fact that it's red, right? I gotta go along with what I do not perceive, but I must be perceiving things poorly. So, but it's, you look up and it's still blue. It's a really hard thing to kind of grapple with a lot of the times. I hate it, I hate it so much. That's a huge thing about this disorder is that like my perception is always gonna be flawed. My cognition is always gonna be flawed. And I just kind of have to learn how other people perceive things and just kind of go off of that instead even though that I'm still seeing the sky as blue I remember the first time I met another narcissist it, like I remember like it felt like somebody was saying all the things that I knew my entire life but everybody else wanted to lie about it was fucking beautiful honestly and I don't understand how like other people like for me to love somebody and to care about somebody, that involves ignoring all of their negative traits. It involves ignoring the fact that they have flaws. That's what it means to be a good friend is pretending they're perfect. I mean, not perfect, but like above average. To, to me, and that's why I expect of other people of them not to even acknowledge that I can do bad. And I know that sounds weird, probably. Other people have indicated it sounded weird. Um, but like, it's like, if I care about you, why would I point out anything bad you've done? That's just going to elicit shame in you. You're just, you're just going to hurt your, hate yourself. And so I don't. If you're on my good side, if I'm loyal to you, then you do no wrong. And if you do do wrong, I fucking cover it up with you if I have to. And I guess that's not the correct way to go about a relationship, right? We should be trying to grow together and stuff like that. But to me, it's like that feels disloyal. It feels like a betrayal. That somebody would like be like, well, this part of you is bad and I hate it. They don't say it like that, but like that's what it feels like. Um, I just, to me, being a good friend or a good partner is just like pretending the other person can't, like is perfect. And I don't see much wrong with that. I would never point out, like, I try not to, at least. Well, okay, I'm gonna put it this way. If I'm super loyal to somebody or I'm super idealizing them, I'll never point out anything they do wrong. Or at least I think that they do wrong. If it's somebody that I feel like is a threat or somebody who's insulting me, then yeah, I'll go for every fucking insecurity they have. Uh, and trust me, as somebody who is insecure about literally everything, I pick up on that stuff. You won't wonder why a narcissist can like tear you to shreds and words. Well, it's because when you're insecure about everything, then it's hard, then it's kind of hard to miss when other people are insecure about anything.
it, it, it feels like people wear their insecurities on their faces and they're so shocked when I point them out. But it's like, why did you point out mine? Right? To me, that's justice. It's that you pointed out my insecurities, the things that I hate. And so now I'm going to point out yours. And you're going to be humiliated. But I'm insecure about everything. So I guess it's, it might be a little uneven in that regard. But I think that maybe that just means that I am being, um, <laughs> that I'm being fucking um, exposed more than other people. Unless they're around me, of course. Yeah. Huh. Probably is it. When I'm insecure about everything, then anything you point out that isn't just this <laughs> absolute, just like praise of me, I'm going to assume is bad. An acknowledgement of a quality of mine, I assume is bad. I assume you disapprove of. I assume you're trying to shame me. It feels like everybody all the time is trying to shame me. Every fucking second of every day. It feels like every single person just wants to point out everything wrong that I do, that everybody's mad at me all the time. But, and then I have to like pretend like I don't feel like they are. I have to pretend like everything that they say, that it's just a minor like criticism or a acknowledgement of like the kind of person I am is an insult. The sky is still fucking blue. At least that's what it feels like. Anyways, take your fucking meds, guys. Have a good day.